एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम part 1 we'll be discussing system of linear equations here uh, we have uh, any any real life problem we can present as system of linear equations and then to find uh, such problem solution we need to have knowledge of how to solve system of linear equations hello everyone i am dr seema thakran so if you want to study system of linear equations in detail please refer to the book by s chand publishing the ebook link is given in the description box uh, given below so let's understand uh, uh, any real life problem already you will be getting in uh, system of linear equation form but how uh, you will decide or how you will judge whether that system has a uh, solution or not or if it has solution then how many solutions we say uh, consistent and inconsistent problems so let's starts with the uh, uh, topic and that is system of linear equations in the last lecture uh, if uh, if you go through uh in last lecture i just i did discuss linear independence and dependence of vectors there i got one system of linear equations but that was totally different the system which i'll be discussing in this lecture part 1 and how it is different so my system will be this time of this type then next will be a21 it means second row i am considering and so on the last element will be So what I am doing basically, I am writing system of linear equations in general form. Always, ah, uh, first element I write as a one one, then second a one two, a one three, and a one. If I am writing, it means n columns we have, and I always take m rows. It means I land up at the mth row, and the last element will be a m n. and this will be bm because m rows we have so uh, m elements this way we'll find so if you have this type of system of linear equations what is the difference between uh, which we did in the last lecture and in this lecture here b1 b2 b3 and bm are not all zero if you remember or if you go through the lecture there i took all the b1 b2 bm all zero but here i am considering at least one non zero at least one any one of uh, the b1 bi's can be non zero if such a system you will get how you will solve how you will proceed for uh, finding the solution just uh, understand now so i will write my system in this form ax equal to b where my a will be the coefficient matrix it means it will contain this this only the coefficients not the uh, unknowns unknowns are x1 x2 till up to xn write the system in this form a11 a12 and so on a1n a21 a22 and a a2n and last is a m1 a m2 and a mn and my unknowns are x1 x2 till up to xn and my b ma uh, matrix i'll call it b matrix anyhow it is it is it just have always it will have only one column and uh, the system will look 100% this form only you will have one coefficient matrix then unknowns and then the rhs elements that will be the b matrix and it will be a column matrix only it means only one uh, 
element you will find at the on the RHS. So uh, on the basis of this, what you will do? This is my A matrix. Okay. Now I will now introduce augmented matrix. So my augmented matrix will be the A matrix adding the B matrix. What I'll do? I'll make a matrix, new matrix. Augmented means you will just extend the matrix. And how you will be extending? A and B you will just combine. But it's not you are combining. You just uh, add and uh, the uh, number of rows and columns of A and then simply write B. This is how you will be just joining. I write it as A11, A12 till up to A1N and just simply add the a B matrix element. This is how you will be writing the augmented matrix. In the last row, so BM. Now, A matrix and on the basis of uh, A augmented B, rank discussion I will be just doing. So, you have two matrices. One is A matrix and another is A augmented B. Rank of A you will find out. Rank of a, B you will find out. The next step will be you will write the system in the form of AX equal to B. Then you will calculate A and A augmented B ranks. First case I am discussing unique solution. On what condition you will say that the system has unique solution? If rank of the matrix A is equal to the rank of a augmented B equal to the number of unknowns. If this is the situation occurring in the problem, you will say that this uh, system has unique solution. Number infinitely no solution I'll discuss first. For no solution rank of A will not be equal to rank of A augmented B. If the ranks are not same, you will say no solution. It means nothing to find out. Third is infinitely many solutions. In what condition or in what circumstances the equation will be will have infinitely many solutions. So the rank will be equal to the rank of AB, but it will be less than, both will be same, but it will be less than the number of unknowns. Unknowns means uh, the values you find out x, y, z, x1, x2, x3, these are called unknowns. So these are the situ three situations which can occur in any system, but the system which we discussed in the last lecture, there, there was no situation of no solution. This you should remember. If a B vector is 0 vector, then 101% either infinitely many solutions or unique solution. The same concept even you can apply there. Uh, th uh, in that lecture, I did a different method, but this method also you can apply there. Uh, whichever uh, method you find easy. Now, so these are the situations. Now I take up one example. Solve the system of linear equations given by So you can see we have to solve the system of linear equations. It's not that every uh, some of the real life problems you can write in this uh, way. And uh, then uh, the if you know the matrix concept, you can find the solution of those problems. So how to solve? Let us write the system as 
a x equal to b now i told you a is this coefficient matrix so write a what will be a it will be 1 2 1 minus 1 minus 2 1 1 2 minus 1 what will be x x y and z what will be b the rhs elements 1 2 3 as i told you according to the method rank of a you should find out and rank of a augmented b but to make it easy what do you do just write consider a augmented b and how it will uh, make your problem simple let's just write a augmented b first it means i have just added uh, the a elements and b elements i have combined uh, a and b matrices anyhow this is different and it is understood to us now to find the rank i have to make below diagonal element 0 i have to make below element uh, diagonal element 0 so this i have to make uh, 0 this i have to make 0 so r2 simply just add these elements i am getting 0 and in r3 just subtract r3 minus r1 because we have to use the diagonal element only I am just, I am writing R1 quickly because there is no change in R1 and this will become 0 because just add uh, the row. So, this will give me this and 0, just subtract now R3 minus R1, third row minus the first row. So, 0 minus 2 and 2. So, now you can see below diagonal, I have all the zeros. Below diagonal, I have all the zeros. This is my so this is my A matrix. As I told you, on the basis of rank of A and A augmented B, we decide whether this system has unique solution, un infinitely many or no solution. So rank of A, how many non-zero rows you can see in the rank uh, in the A matrix? Just uh, forget this uh, for some time. So three non-zero rows. Now come to rank of A augmented B. How many rows you can see? 3 non zero very clear 3 non zero rows the rank of a is equal to rank of a augmented b equal to 3 and this is equal to the number of unknowns that is 3 it means the system has unique solution the system has unique solution and how to find that solution now? How to do it? I will just again break it up as AX equal to B. The, this, this system. This is my A. This is my B. So, write it again one more time. So, my system is finally 1, 2, 1, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, minus 2. And X1, X2, X3 equal to 1 3 2 coming to the point where i discuss the rank and there is something to notice because uh, earlier such type of problem uh, did not occur for rank of a especially i just write the matrix separately this is very rare problem anyhow this if you just take out uh, minus uh, minus 2 from this uh, this uh, row and 2 from this row what you will get just discuss this separate so 1 2 1 and 0 0 1 0 0 1 I told you to check non zero rows but the thing is here these two rows are same so it means you will not consider these two rows as two it will be just considered as one only so it should be different so rank for rank of A is 2 only. Rank of A especially I am talking. Rank of A, uh, A augmented B is 3 for sure. Because this is non-0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 3, 0, 0, minus 2, 2. There is no connection. But rank of A is 2 because this is just multiplication of uh, by a number only. So my point is number of non-zeros we check. That's fine. But rank, the, these rows you can see when we are taking out common. We can take out common in rank. We are finding we can divide, multiply. Rank will never differ. Rank will be the, just the same. So it means this time two rows only you are getting. So rank is two. It means this time 
rank of AB is 3 for sure because 3 not 0 rows but rank of A is not equal to rank of so this system has not unique solution this system has no solution. Uh, one more time I just tell you I first I considered three non-zeros but no you just check these two uh, 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 rows these are just the same when we are taking it out common both both the rays are same it means we will be considering it as one one thing two three it means uh, this is equal to the number of rows but rank of A not equal to rank of A B. So the system has no solution. Okay. So the system has no solution. If it has no solution then why to find and what to find. So this is the end of the part 1. In part 1 we understood we learned how if there is a system of linear equations then on what condition it will have unique solution and uh, it will have infinitely many solutions. So conditions we have discussed and now in uh, part 2 I will be taking a very good problem in, in that problem I will be taking I will be discussing all the uh, in one question all the problems uh, in uh, what circumstances you will get unique solution infinitely many and no solution. If you want to study this topic in detail, please refer to the book by S. John Publishing. The ebook link is given in the description box below. If you like the video, please do like, share and subscribe S. John Academy. Don't forget to press the bell icon for the future updates of the upcoming videos. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.